Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Midzy69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, should Wargaming cancel this matchmaking? Because clearly, it is not working as it was uh, intending to work on. This matchmaking was intended to work on new players entering the game and starting to get sort of grips with the uh, with the game before getting introduced to new uh, to other people. Um, but I don't think that's quite worked as intended. What it has basically done is for people to to reroll. Um, and that is, I get a lot now. I get a lot of OP replays or people sending in OP replays uh, with 8,000 damage or 9,000 damage, but yet they're in the newbie matchmaking. And is it as good? I mean, should I still, yes, it's still high damage. It's really high damage. But does it mean anything getting that high damage against newer players? And honestly, in I don't think it does. I don't think it's it's not that special. I honestly don't think an eight thousand damage game in newbie matchmaking is is that special because you're up against newer players. Um, and what this matchmaking has literally done is create a, a sort of an atmosphere where people just want to reroll. People now just want to reroll because they want to come up against these newer players and they want to farm damage and they want to farm win rate. And that is all this matchmaking is now used for. Is there a way? I don't think so. I don't think there's a way of doing it as Wargaming intended to do. And I mean, I love the idea. I do love the idea that newer players will come up against a certain amount of bots. Normally, if they join the game, they'll come up against five or six bots and only a couple of real players. And then the more battles they, they that they play, they will have less bots and more players. And I do like, as I've said, I do like the way it was planned, um, the idea of that. But honestly, I just don't think it's working as, as intended. And what we're going to see is just a couple of games where people have either re-rolled and they're playing in, in tier 10 already after a, a thousand or so battles. Or people that are buying premium tanks that are creating a new, a new account buying premium tanks uh, and just you know as it is um bear in mind these games are still good i mean we're, we're watching the e5 here and he does he does a pretty good job to be honest and considering his battle count you know like just watching this guy if this was a new player doing this battle even against other new players then yes it would be considered as actually you know what that's pretty god damn good but when it's a re-roll against these players it's not as it's not considered as, as good and if i'm honest yes i know it's not fair on the newer players and there is like i said there's no way of changing it i love the idea i love the concept of it all but there is literally no way of making it easy for new players because all you've got to do is re-roll and you're considered as a new player and unfortunately for the newer players it's not working it's not working as intended and i don't think it will whatever wargaming do i don't think it will ever work as intended so i honestly think wargaming should just remove this matchmaking and do it as it was originally at least then you will have a mixture of good players and bad players on a team where now the matchmaking as it as it is you may have one really good player like we we are seeing here and the rest of them might be bots or the rest of them might be bad players so it's not really fair on the enemy team that they've actually their team have got seven new players that are actually trying to learn the game whilst the enemy team have just that one player that knows everything about the game he's a re-roll and he can just destroy anything that comes his way. So unfortunately, I do think Wargaming should remove this matchmaking. Because I do honestly think that the newer players will have better opportunity to learn the game. Or better opportunity to win if they the matchmaking was just normal. Normal throughout the game. I mean, here, look, again, 
we have an enemy chieftain mark six he only has not a, well he doesn't have a lot of battles at all and he's already bought a premium tank and and this is what people people do and it's frustrating to see it is frustrating to see people creating new accounts buying a tier 10 premium and just up in their average damage and up in their win rate at least our guy in the e5 here he's actually grinded this tank he hasn't bought it he's grinded it and he is just farming win rate and potentially average damage um, it doesn't always work out in your favor of course if, if you reroll you're not always going to win because you might come up against players that are doing the same on the enemy team but honestly i just think that wargaming should remove this this uh, this matchmaking you guys might think differently so let me know in the comments below or if you are watching this as a live premiere uh, let me know like do you think wargaming should just remove this because all this all this matchmaking is doing is making it easy for the people that want to reroll and you can have players that are now 70 percent win rate whereas their main account is probably only 50 percent um if people want to re-roll then yeah that that's that is up to them like if, if they're not happy with their account then yeah that's that's up to them i mean i mean look 2400 average damage he does a great job like better, don't get me wrong 72 percent win rate but 100 percent his main account is not 72 percent win rate um and he's not a new player and we go on to the enemy team here you look 2000 3000 the, the chieftain only has 4000 games and like he, he if that's a re-roll he's not succeeding uh let's have a look so t92 again 1400 is7 3000 and most of these i would honestly say are not re-rolls i mean you look at the bottom player 3000 he can't be a re-roll if that's a re-roll it's a failed re-roll so our guy here in a re-roll account is up against potentially seven players that are actually new to the game and that's what I don't like. That is what I don't. I, I want to see removed. I don't think it's fair um, on the new players that are actually wanting. They've they've downloaded the game and they think, oh, do you know what? I like tanks. This thing's a good game. And then boom, they're coming. Up, they're coming up against these kind of players that are just sort of. You know, I, I wouldn't even say overpowered because they're not overpowered in the normal matchmaking. If they perform this well, then yeah, okay, they could be OP players. Um, you, you, we have it here again. We have a newbie matchmaking. Um, we're in the WZ121 GFT, which is an OP tank anyway. Up against new players, they're going to find it very difficult to be able to pen this because sometimes it took me when I when I first joined the game, it took me probably about seven, eight thousand battles to actually realise that there is stats. Like I didn't ever play for stats. I didn't even look. I didn't even think of the stats um it took me a few thousand battles to realize that you can actually change promo from gold to credits i didn't know that so i just never shot premium ammunition and there is going to be new players that are joining the game that are like that that don't know that they can change the uh, the premium ammunition from gold to, to credits so they're not going to shoot premium and because they're not going to shoot premium they're going to struggle to come up against tanks like this you're going to sit here this vk168 on the enemy team again buying premium tanks and his team also has a vk168 now this vk168 is stupid absolutely stupid um people complain people complain you're going to watch it this game they complain about these players they're like dude what the fuck are you doing well they're new players what do you expect just because you're a reroll, you can't expect everyone on your team to to be like you you know the game you understand the game these players don't yet understand the game and that is the difference between this matchmaking if you put everything and everyone on the same matchmaking you won't have this anymore excuse me about sorry about that I, we we skipped a little bit because i had a phone call that interrupted the game so yeah so these players that are re-rolling the for stats if you put all this matchmaking aside and just left it as it was you won't have these people yes you are going to have people that re-roll of course you're always going to have people that re-roll and there's nothing bad about that i mean if you if some people it takes a long time to learn the game 
and it does. It took me sort of 8,000 battles to learn the game, 9,000 battles to learn the game. But some people may take longer, and by then they may have too many battles to, to make a difference to their stats, which is why sometimes you see now 40% players doing really, really well in game because they've learned the game. But it took them a while to learn the game, so their stats are not as good as everybody else. So what this 40% player then does is, you know what, I'm going to reroll and actually get better stats. And that is what they do. But these players now that are re-rolling, they re-roll because they know it's easy to get 2,000 average damage. And they know it's easy to get 70 plus, maybe even 80% win rate. Because then by the time they get put into the normal matchmaking, which is around 5,000, 5,500 battles, it's already a lot of battles to make a big difference to their win rate if they start losing. Um, so I'm one... I am one to, do you know what, just Wargaming, remove this matchmaking, it is not helping new players, yes they are coming up against bots, I understand they're coming up against bots when they first uh, do the game, uh, join the game, but they're also coming up against these players that have had thousands and thousands and thousands of battles, but have decided to re-roll, and this is where I think the problem is, and there is no stopping that, there is there's nothing you can do to really, to stop that. Um, because all people have to do is create a new email and that's it and there is nothing wargaming will be able to do unless they somehow do it ip addresses and all that uh, but it will never happen it will never happen one because th there's no way to stop in it and two not most of the time these re-rolls are out there buying premium tanks that wargaming are actually earning money and sometimes they're earning double money from it so like i might have an account with a chieftain mark six maybe a 121b or a, a 30b and I'm like, do you know what? I don't like my account. I'm going to re-roll. And I'm going to go and buy them tanks again. So Wargaming are actually earning sometimes double the money from the same person than any other person. So I do honestly think Wargaming need to remove this matchmaking. I think it does more harm than good. And it's just really, in my opinion, it's not helping the newer players so let me know your thoughts in the comments below guys i'm just going to let you watch this uh, final bit of the battle out because it's hilarious and this is what new players do they don't know how to deal with it i mean you, you have people in the chat now like go kill him with he they don't want to listen they don't want to listen not only that but he might not be english he might not be english he might not understand but if he's a new player He's not going to know how to deal with this guy. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave you with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, whether you think Wargaming should remove this matchmaking completely or change it so it's less battles in bot matchmaking, maybe only 50 or 100. Uh, just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Midzy69. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye. We'll